Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the CCTV security camera plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to set up these cameras which you can hook into via a computer and make sure people are not up to no good. So as a quick example, I've set up three cameras over here. You can see there's one up here pointed downwards. There's one here as well. You can customize how they look. As you can see, they're all very different. Now here we have a computer. It may not look like one, but if we right click, it's gonna show us all the cameras within this group or closed system. So if we left click the first one, it will say connecting. It will take us into the view of the first camera and there's a few different options. So what we can do is right click, rotate left to do a couple of rotations that way. Same for going to the right. And then what we can do is hit next camera and this is going to take us to the next one and we can obviously rotate that if we want and then we can go to the final camera number three which is looking up here and then go back to the first one. So as you can see um, you can have a look through all of them see if anything untoward is going on and then options you can choose a few things in here so on the left we've got night vision which is going to light up the area pretty cool. We have spotting so that can spot if there's people and then you can have a zoom if you want. Then if we go back and exit, it will say disconnecting for a couple of seconds and then we are back to normal. So that is kind of what the plugin does. Let's go ahead and start using it. So the first thing we want to do is craft a camera. So the way we do this is a block of redstone up here with some heavy weighted pressure plates dotted around like this. We need one glass pane, we need one dispenser, we need a redstone comparator and we need a daylight detector. That's going to give you one camera. So next we're going to craft a computer and this is the recipe over here. So you need two bits of redstone, a redstone torch in the middle, followed by some glass, some more heavy weighted pressure plates, and then we need one comparator and then two repeaters either side. That's going to give us a computer. So I'm going to fly over here and we're going to find another location for this. So I'm just going to pop it down over here and then if we right click you can see there are no cameras because we have not attached any to it yet. So what I'm going to do is pop down a couple of different cameras just in some random places. So one there, one there and let's do one over here. So if we have a look at the first one we can right click it and edit a few things. So if we want to maybe rotate it to the right, click it, it will actually teleport you and rotate it a small amount. You can see it is now offset. Over here we can change the camera skin so there is a long list of them you can see you can really customize it and make them look pretty cool. Now if you want to be sneaky you can actually click this button here and have it as a hidden camera so it's still there but most people wouldn't actually know to click there. If we go back into this one we can click the view to connect to it and see what the view is going to be to make sure we're happy with it and that looks pretty cool. And then if we right click we can rename the camera so this is going to be test one and then this one is going to be test two. And then do you want to enable the camera, yes or no? So that is how you would set them up. So if we do the command forward slash CCTV, there's a few different commands here. So what we can do is the group command. So this is where you can create circuits of multiple cameras. So if we were to create a group, and this one is going to be called server miner. Now that we've created that, we can actually add some cameras to it. So if we do the group add camera to server miner, and then add test one and test two. So we'll wait a little bit before adding test three, but for now we are going to jump into the computer. So if we right click the computer and then go up to the top to options, what we can do is add cameras. Now there's none in here at the moment, so what we actually need to do is set a camera group to it. So there's two groups here, lobby and server miner. So if we click server miner, and then go to add cameras, you can see it lists all the other cameras that aren't added to that group we created. So now we can add camera three, or test three I should say. If we go back, we now have the three test cameras that we created, and if we hit view on the first one, it's gonna connect us, and then we can switch between the three cameras and have a look at the views that they have. If we go back into the terminal and to options, you can see computer access. You can shift left click to toggle from public to private or left click to add certain players to it. Now if you do forward slash CCTV and then camera, you can create one. So we call one LT Gym and that's gonna place it right in front of you. I would say using an item is much easier. And you can also do the camera get and then choose a particular one, so maybe the green camera. So if we do forward slash CCTV computer and then list, it's going to list all the computers that you've put down. And then you can actually teleport to a particular one 
if you don't know where you put it or you want to get it to it very quickly. So that is how you would set up the cameras and computers in Minecraft. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.12 to 1.19. It's a fantastic plugin. Here are the crafting recipes and the setting GUIs that we looked at. It's a really awesome plugin. Here are the commands and permissions. I would highly recommend it for your server. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.